So hello everybody, it is Friday, it's time for another Tax Fridays, a new tax function every single Friday. And in today's Tax Fridays, we're going to solve it, where I'm going to show you two new tax functions, and we're going to solve the challenge that I posed last Friday. Okay, so I actually gave you two challenges in case you haven't seen the previous video, and ask you to solve them and put the solution on the comment box so you can win randomly. I will select randomly a winner of this, okay? So let's go and solve this first. Here is the first challenge. It says, Mo Mary and Martin both started to watch Tax Friday series on YouTube. Well done. So they stopped when they both have watched the same number of videos. It says, Mary watched five Tax Friday videos a day, and Martin watched 11 videos a day. How many days it took Mary to watch the same number of videos as Martin? Obviously, the, the minimum number of days. Okay, so how do you solve it? So the first thing we need to know is they both stop when they have watched the same number of videos. What is that number? What is the number where both Mary and Martin watch the same videos when they are watching it at different paces? And we're going to do this first in Excel so you actually can see it is much easier. So Mary watched five videos a day and Martin watched 11. Okay, so the first day Mary watched five, the second day 11, Martin watched 11. The second day he watches five plus that. In Excel you can press F4 to lock that cell and always add five. And then we can just drag it. And then here we need to do the same. The second day, Martin watched these 11 plus this one, F4. So we locked the cell 22. So day two, Mary had 10 videos, but Martin had already 22 videos. Well done, Martin. Okay, so if we continue dragging here, what we need to know is what number is the same from Mary's list and from Marty's list. And if we go in here, you say 55 exists on both lists. You see here? So that is the time where both, oh, that is the time where the number of videos where they both have watched the same. Okay, so now, how do you do this instead of doing manually how I, like I did? How do you do it in DAX? And this is how you do it. So you go here and number of videos and you use a function called LCM. And LCM, it just finds the least number of videos that both of them watched that is the same. You put LCM, you put the five videos a day and the 11 videos a day from Martin. And this is going to give you that the number of videos they both watch the same is 55. So 55 number of videos that both Martin and uh, Mary watched. Now that was not the question. The question was not the number of videos, it was the number of days. So how many days it took Mary? So if she had to watch 55 videos, how many days? Well, it is 55 divided by five, right? So she's watching five videos a day to work 55. She needs to have 11 days. So the correct answer to this puzzle is 11 days. Did you have it right? Okay, so let's solve now challenge number two. Here's how it goes. It says, Chris is running an internal Power BI training at this company, and we have 75 women and 105 men that applied for the training. Well done, Chris. Okay, so Chris knows that diversity is very important, so he wants to have the same number of teams with the same number of men and the same number of women. And the question is, how many boys should he have on each team so that happens? Are you ready? Well, the way to solve this is with the great common denominator, not there. We put it in here. No, not the teams. So we first need to know how many teams. So 
So what is the biggest number of teams that Chris can do so there is the exact same number? Okay, so 15. So if you divided the 17 and the 105 and tried to find the comer, the greatest denominator, it will be 15. So you put GCD 75 and 105, okay? So now he has to make 15 teams, but it does not answer how many boys there has to be on each team. So the number of boys on each team is obviously if there are, you can see it here. So if we have 105 boys and we have 15 teams, you divide it and you get seven boys per team. So now you know how many boys and girls and how many teams Chris should have to have equal share on number of teams and gender. Do you enjoy it? <laughs> okay. Now, this video is pre-recorded, so I won't be able to draw any winner today because you haven't seen the video yet and you haven't voted and hopefully, you know, you will participate and I will have something to draw. I don't know until I post the video, so if you post comments with solutions on the video on Saturday, tomorrow I will draw live a winner of this thing, okay? If there were no comments with solutions, I'll don't do a video on Saturday, basically. But now you know how LCM and G common denominator, GCD, <laughs> work. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed the challenge. I hope you enjoyed the video. I thought it was a fun way to introduce these two functions and uh, it is Friday. So how about we all start the weekend? Enjoy it and I will see you again as always on Monday. Until then, take care and bye bye. <laughs>